Hi everyone, this is a quick video of a workaround that I'm going to show you. I'm just using my smartphone, so it's going to be a little bit shaky, hope not too much, but I thought I'll do this video quite quickly to demonstrate how we can use Outboard Gear. In this case, I'm going to use my Personas Studio Tube channel uh, using Studio One Pro with Pipeline VST, but uh, for this instant, I'm going to also be going to be using my uh, Studio Live 16 Series 3 as my audio interface. In the past, I've demonstrated how to do it with Studio 1824 um, and a few other um, plug, um, audio interfaces, but this time I'm going to demonstrate it how I achieved this using the uh, Studio Live 16 Series 3. And I should also thank Rick from Personas of showing me some videos of how um, the SL uh, Studio Live 16 actually works, so I can work this all out. So I've spent a couple of hours trying to work it all out and finally done it. So I thought I'll make a quick video because this question has been asked on Facebook group many times. So here we go, guys. I uh, hope you don't mind a little bit of shaking. Now here I have a project open and this is my vocal track right there. And on the vocal track, uh, obviously, uh, I always send it to a bus and the bus is right there so on the vocal track i've got nothing else other than pipeline and just let me open up pipeline hope it'll come up uh, clear anyway so in pipeline i have output one going uh, the pipeline going to output one and coming back as input two and my io settings are as follows so this is my output and as you can see i've got um output one as channel one at the top there um, and also uh, just a note that my main is also going to channel 11 and 12 so that's my output so you can ignore the rest so output 1 channel 1 main output is going to 11 and 12 and as for inputs these are standard inputs so I've got input 1 to 8 as mono and 3 4 5 6 stereo ones as well there but I'm going to be using input 2 that's going on channel two. That's um, that's pretty much my I/O setup. Okay, and here it's going to output one and coming back as input two in um, Studio One. There we go. Hope that's close enough. Okay, so that's how it's set up in Studio One Pro. Now, how is it set up in uh, Studio Live sixteen? Well, I am using um, the user uh, option. Um, I find out about this one from Rick. Thank you, Rick. Uh, so in user option, I have set up my faders how I want it. And over here for my channel 9 and 10, I have assigned them to be the main outputs from my DAW as 11 and 12. So this control, the stereo output from my um, Studio One Professional. Okay, so that basically controls my the volume. It doesn't. It, it's it's not in the, in the indoor mode. It's in standard play mode, not indoor mode. So this controls my main output volume to my speakers. And uh, apart from the monitor output, I can also adjust it through here. Okay. And the next thing I have is my channel one. Is right there. And, and that is coming from, if I can show you, yep, USB 1. So if you know your uh, Studio Live, you would know how to do that. So my fader 1 is coming from USB 1. And I named that as DAW01 so I can identify it. I've got no fat channel uh, engaged on this because I don't really need the fat channel and the one thing you will actually need uh, to see is that it's actually going output to auxiliary 9 and we'll come to the connections in a minute and then my channel 2 uh, it says soft tube or studio tube and that is actually coming from input 13 as an analog input okay so fader number one is coming from Studio One, from Pipeline Apple One, into here. 
and then going out to mix 9 as you can see mix 9 now I have uh, the fader up and at the back of the actual unit uh, TRS output 9 auxiliary output 9 is connected um, by these wires uh, just temporarily into my studio channel input and then the output of the studio channel through my patch bay is connected to input 13 and that's when we see here when we select uh, channel 2 I'm using analog input 13 so just to recap again comes from USB output of Studio uh, One Pro into this channel and it goes out as auxiliary 9 output, physical output and it comes back as uh, 13 okay on fader 2 or if we go into the inputs okay um, it'll be coming back on channel 13 but you don't need to really lift up the fader because it's a pre-fader setup so if we look at the settings it's pre-fader okay so it does not matter because we don't really need the fader um, in there okay so when we this thing we will actually see the levels go up because the signal now coming back on uh, physical input 13 analog input 13 into fader 2 and the fader 2 is obviously channel 2 in my DAW and coming back true so let's have a quick listen and you will actually see how the vocal will play out of uh, pipeline into channel 1 fader out into studio uh, uh, channel uh, preamplifier, the tube pre, and output of tube 3 into channel 2 fader, and uh, which is input 13, and then from there, channel input USB number 2 back straight into Sonus. I know it's a long part and long thing, but that's how we can actually get my vocal to come out here and there. So without let any further ado, let's uh, let me show you. Okay, let's go. If you could hold yourself in these arms, if you could breathe you in in the dark. Okay, that's a track. If you could look at you, that's the signal from coming from Studio One. You'd understand the magic in my Nine. Going out. Through my eyes, I see forever in you. All my dreams and desires, alive and come true. And you are seeing my destiny. And so the output of that is coming here. If you could only see yourself through my eyes. Okay, and I'm listening on this channel. If you could feel my heart skip inside when I catch you right and just smile. If you could feel Okay, so that stopped it, so I can... Of course, the next thing I've done after setting it all up, it's always a good idea to uh, save uh, the project and the scene. So as you can see, under uh, projects, I have outboard gears, and I have used scene, as, as, as a setup for my Studio Tube Pre. So the next one would be if I wanted to use my uh, ART tube, 
uh, or my uh, Pro VLA, ART Pro VLA, or my Behringer one, or any of my other compressors that I want, I have plenty room to save them. So whenever I need to use, I can just quickly recall it and all my faders and everything will be set up for that. And um, same with in Studio One. I know that I need to use Apple One and Input Two. And where you go. So and using the obviously the, the user option of uh, just faders are only f limited faders that I need to use are right here in front of me. And uh, where it goes. So remember, um, save your settings. Well, I hope that made some sense. I know it's very scratchy and it's not uh, really planned, but I thought I'll do a quick workaround video, um, not workaround or work through walkthrough video of how I actually managed uh, to do it. Now I can uh, send my vocals uh, through uh, the Studio Live 16 to my Tube Pre that I really love. Um, all the, I use it all the time. Now I can with my Studio Live as well. So it goes through and back. And once I'm happy with all my settings, I can render that. And as uh, either on its own track or on a separate track, then I've got, um, you know, analog into it. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any uh, comments, you want to find out something which is not clear, um, comment below. But most likely in very near future, I will make it a more scripted um, video with full details and um, diagrams and things of connections as well and how it all works and all the audio path through so you have a better understanding but in the meantime i hope this walkthrough really helps you out cheer you guys